here we have a rather bewildering array of assorted meters of assorted ages. Now that this uh, video is about this one, but I'll get to it in a minute. I kind of wanted to go through the history of what I've dealt with with meters since I got into business. I got into business in 1977, and at that time, there were, you know, certain brands and styles of meters. This is a cheapy Sears from about that era, nice and dusty. Here's a Simpson, which was uh, one of the higher quality meters at the time, universal, kind of a midline sort of thing. Those were all analog meters. They all had some things in common, like these uh, leads. Uh, kind of ho-hum. They worked and so on, but they weren't all that great. There was a lot of failures in these leads right here. These would uh, fall apart and not make contact. So part of the problem with a lot of the early meters was the fairly low quality of the leads. Uh, of course, these meters being analog, they're subject to damage more so than uh, digital meters. Over the years, you know, when I first got in this business, I would probably not have wanted much less than this Simpson. Maybe the Universal, uh, it's kind of a cheapie, but um, I'm concerned about, you know, the meter not working and getting me in trouble and me getting electrocuted and so on. Uh, with these early meters, with the type of leads they had, there were a lot of problems with them. And uh, even the good quality meters. The cheap meters, it wasn't even uh, an issue. You did not want them. Uh, they could fail on you. Well, let's back up now to a little bit more modern stuff. Uh, there's a couple of flukes here, a field piece, and this Ames from uh, Harbor Freight. The Fluke 16 was the first meter I ever had that I could not kill. I killed meters like this all the time. I'd hit voltage in uh, resistance readings or something, and I'd blow fuses and all sorts of things. Uh, the Fluke 16 never would die. In fact, this Fluke 16 I got in about 1992, and it still works. It's still operable. It's not an RMS meter, so it's a little bit behind, but uh, but it's still a good meter. I trust it all the time. Now, the field piece is a little bit newer. That's a good meter. Uh, these are professional meters. This Fluke 333 is a professional meter, although it's pretty old, too. Uh, so what always bothered me about the cheapy meters in the past was they had poor quality leads. Uh, I mean, all meters had poor quality leads for a long time, but the cheapies kept the poor quality leads for an awful long time. And I would not consider them to be dependable. Considering these to be uh, professional meters, had good leads, would last quite a while. Leads do fail on meters, on all meters. They're probably the most uh, failure prone. Uh, this Ames was a hundred bucks, which is not especially cheap, because like this thing is 150, I think. Uh, and I looked this meter over. I originally bought it because it had uh, inrush, and uh, inrush has value for some things. It also will read amperage DC. Uh, you can use it as a clamp meter for DC. 
Uh, that's not something an HVAC guy needs a lot of, probably almost never, but I play around with DC some. So, uh, I was kind of nice, it was kind of nice that it had that. Most of these things I simply cannot kill anymore, even the cheapies. Uh, they uh, tend to protect themselves in ways that they didn't used to. The cheapy meters, which I'm going to call this one one, although it is fairly expensive, uh, they're required to have good leads, and this, this does have good leads on it. And uh, the functions are pretty much everything you would normally want. Uh, AC amps, uh, AC DC volts, millivolts, uh, which is useful for like thermocouples and the like. Ohms, ohms, it goes up to mega ohms, which is kind of nice. Capacitor tester, and it also does uh, hertz or cycles per second. It has a non contact voltage right here, which is pretty common in all these things. You can uh, manually select range, although it does it automatically quite well. The performance of the meter, I've tried it in several applications. I have no problem with it. It works fine. Uh, the plastic case is not junk. I've had some of them that the cases would crack, but uh, this one doesn't seem to be that way. I can't find a lot wrong with this meter. The only thing that I find wrong is a design function of this thing is that it defaults to voltage DC. And you have to switch, switch it with the function. I'm not real thrilled about that because uh, it won't read AC volts. Uh, when it's in DC, obviously, and for the HVAC business, uh, it does, uh, you know, sometimes you want to make quick measurements and you can blow it on this and get yourself in trouble. Uh, of course, it has, in addition to inrush, it has hold, which I hate. I don't like hold. I don't think it's, I've almost never used hold, but it has those functions. This has all the functions you need for HVAC. It's got pretty much every one of them. I found it to be an effective meter. So would I use this thing in the field? You know, I would. We always say, well, you know, you trust your life to your meter. Do you want to trust it to a cheap meter? Uh, anymore, a lot of these meters, uh, you know, there's not a whole lot of difference. When I used to teach this, I was pretty much saying, well, you're going to use fluke whenever you can. You know, it's uh, you know a high quality meter, uh, maybe a little bit less quality now that they're made in China, which they've been quite a while. This one, this one was actually, this one here was made in Seattle. Uh, by the way, the meters are all made in China now, at least uh, the ones I've seen. They've set up the circuitry in these things so it's not easy to kill these things at all. And that was part of my issue. You know, me and my putting something on voltage, uh, putting the probes to voltage, and then checking voltage when uh, it was in ohms, which would kill a lot of meters. This one does not seem to be that way. I haven't had any problem with that uh, when I've uh, fiddled with it. So overall, is this meter any good? Yeah, just got to remember that it is going to default to DC instead of AC when you're checking voltage. Other than that, I think it's a pretty good meter. That's it on this one.